What's going on guys, today we have a new retail opening featuring some of the most unique and weirdest, I guess you could say, retail products I could find. If you guys like these videos and want to see more like it, drop a like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you want to see. When you like, sub, comment, you're entered into the weekly giveaway. Right now, it's a 2023 Prison Football Hobby Box. And then, if that's over, it should be a new one in its place. Info down below, good luck. But yeah, just wanted to do some retail stuff. I did a retail video recently, a fun one, and I found that one. So, it kind of inspired me to do some others because... I had one of these, these, and then found these, and I just want to see what's inside. So let's start with um, let's start with some of these ones, and I don't know too much about all of them, but we're gonna find out together, right? So let's find out. Here we go. Optic Prism. Let's do Prism first. It's Prism, you know. It's a uh, big in name, small in game. So let's get. Started with some uh, prism, I don't know what you call these, prism repack boxes. I have no clue actually. So these are Panini packs, but they're made by MJ Holding. They make most of the Walmart retail stuff. So these have three packs from a format I don't know. Let's find out right now. It's very, very, I don't know, just strange to sell them like this. So there we go. Let's see what's inside. They made some other stuff recently as well. And I tried them. Most of their stuff is miss. In the past, and I'll go more in depth later in the opening. There have been some hits with the stuff. So let's see. I'm sure if you like retail and you've checked out the sections, you've probably seen these before. What are your thoughts on them? And have you pulled anything nice? So there we go. Kind of a little uh, prism box. Curry is like orange in this. And there we go. So let's see what kind of packs these are. These are, I believe, 16 bucks. Those are 15. And let's see which one's better. Optics, probably better. All right. So we have, let's see. Uh huh. Ruby Wave. Pulsar. This is from the retail box. So. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't pay 16 bucks for these, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see the packs. Let's get started. You can get pink pulsars, and I can win the lottery, but is it going to happen? Don't hold your breath, you know? All right, let's see. Here are the cards. And it's this year's prism, so let's see what we got. There's something here. And once again, drop a like, sub, and comment what you want to see in the future. And those things help us do more. Here we go. Help out the channel, our videos, things like that. Looks like a nice rookie. Take that. I have not opened this retail format. I haven't done the retail boxes. I haven't done the, what else? Fast breaks. Uh, there's more, I can't think of any of them. H2s and choices. But if you want them, let me know. Oh, I was like, huh, familiar face. That's because we just got them. All right, hot start so far. One more pack of Prism. Then we'll do optics. So, at retail stores, and this is weird. Speaking of weird, Red Wave's in here, also in Hobby. But I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of strange, random formats of products at Walmart, Target, online. And here's a bunch of them. That one, especially. Okay. Hello? Rookie? Rockets? Tar Eason. Ty Ty. I'm a fool. Why did I think that wasn't Ty Ty? It's always Ty Ty. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Now for the optic version, which is a dollar less, I believe. On the receipt, I actually don't know which one was which. But Optic has to be cheaper, right? And Prism Retail, by the way, usually sucks. That's one of the slightly better ones. Although, I believe it's um, 1920. That's the peak of that one. Because the SSP autos, beautiful. All right, there's our packs. Definitely a top condition, well protected. So, to you guys, let me know. What's the weirdest 
retail product or format you've seen. Here's the 2223 Optic uh, retail box. So black one of ones. I mean, I know it's possible. I believe I've seen it happen. Checkerboard, purple, and hollow. And are there autographs? Yes, autographs. I mean, at least from these packs, you can get stuff. But let's see. Yeah. Not likely. I need to stop. I don't know why, but the lighting and looking through the screen, I always tell myself I see a one-on-one. -on -one. I need help. J-Dub. Here's a pattern. d -Lo. I get a lot of d -Lo. Okay. Oh, next pack. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Another hollow. Chet. Okay. A lot of thunder. Hollow. And base Chet. I mean, I'll sleeve him. I doubt we beat that today. I'd be stunned. Next one. Or last one. What is that? Oh. Oh. Okay. From here, I thought it was a photon or something, but it's not. Yes, not. Express lane tray. There you are. Miss Pack would like that. And another Chet. I'll sleeve the first. I sleeve the second. Or well, actually, reverse. I'll sleeve the second, because I sleeve the first. There we go. All right, let's try these. These are sticker packs. So, Panini became a big company because of the stickers. And they have the basketball versions here. But they put cards in them. I guess to help them sell, or I don't know why, but... Yeah, here they are. Not well protected, but I've seen and pulled some cool stuff from these. They're very cheap. One of the cheapest. But there is stuff you can find. And the sticker set is huge. So, I actually don't understand it that well. And just pull a bunch of random stuff every now and then when I open these. There's Cole Anthony. Here are the stickers. So there's a... We got Cole Anthony. Yeah, there we go. Shadow on his face. I thought it was like a an art version, but it's not. Here we go. Here are the stickers. Ooh, yeah, we got the um I don't know, like bucks? Beats me. And Scotty Barnes. There you go. Bang. These are a quick rip, so let's fight through them. Yeah, these are kind of a more obscure format you don't see often. But they're there. They sell them. And do people buy them? I guess that's a question for you guys. Do you buy these? Not bad, but nothing crazy. Now, World Cup soccer. That is crazy. These, you know. Yeah, I mean, Marcus Morris. There we go. And Siakam. Three more. I have pulled parallels before. Once upon a time. I think I pulled DeAndre Hunter and Poole. I think they were rookies. Speaking of rookies. Please let this be one. Here's the pack. And if you have more random, fun, weird stuff you want me to try, let me know. So once again, I saw this at Walmart. That was the last one. I wanted to buy like three or four, but that's the only one I found. And I found some other stuff I hadn't tried, so why not? And I had some others already. And together, one wacky packy opening. And Josh Christopher. I don't really know what to do with these stickers, but I have them. We got them now. And you know what? I don't know why I didn't finish the prism and optic. I don't know why. Just blanked on me. Let's see our cards and sticker. Almost finished with these. There are parallels. We're not getting them. But Sadiq Bay cracked dice. And another one's coming up. There you go. Get that into better focus. They're very small, so I'm holding them close. JB. Okay. 
There we are. Nice ice. And last one. Sticker packs for the win. And Sadiq Bay again. Well, you can get stuff. They're very cheap. So, it is what it is. And once I hit that monster from those boxes, we're good. Have you guys ever heard of those stories? Oh! Trophy, cracked ice, highlight. Yeah. All right, let's finish off these uh, prisms and optics. But have you heard the stories of those mystery boxes? And on the covers, like uh, Steph Curry, Topps Chrome Rookie, 10, Jordan Rookie, stuff like that. And you ask yourself, has anyone ever gotten those cover cards? I've gotten confirmation people have. So, on there, maybe. But these companies, oh, there's more plastic. There you go. I was wondering why. These companies are not the best. When I get to that one, I'll tell a story of when those were amazing by accident. All right, Prism. Same packs, Pulsars. Here we go. Not likely, but give it a try. Got Melton, Jabari, Dyson. I'll take it. And next one. Green. How about, um, rookie? No. Justin Holiday. Yes. We got him. And last pack. They're all fast rips, so that's the bright side. Nice base. Global reach. Okay. There we are. Optic. I almost forgot them and went to Space Jam for Monopoly. All right. There we go. These are like the hanger boxes of Prism and stuff like that. Now they're packs, I think. Here we are with the Optic Retail Box Packs. One of one. I was on Discord, in our Discord, link down below, it's free. And one of my friends pulled the one of one black Raider rookie Tyrese Halliburton from an Optic Retail Box. So big stuff to be found. Ooh, speaking of it, Diabate. Pack two. And it's going to be insert a lot of thunder. It's Steph Curry. Let's take a look. Steph Curry. Oh, huh. Numbers from retail. Only a repack, I guess, but still 81 of 85. I definitely did see that coming. Wow. Big dub. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. One more. I think that's a purple, but let's find out. Jabari Walker. All these Chrome cards are making a mess. AD. Winner stays. Not numbered? Yeah. I didn't know the Curry was numbered. I thought that was a purple. You can kind of tell the blue, but some angle looks purple. And, um, and yeah. You know what? Monopoly time. So, right now, this stuff's newer. Not as weird to see it or think about it, but in several years plus, this is going to be very random. Looking at Prism Monopoly, they'll be like, huh? That was a thing? It was. So here's the box, and I don't know how much these are. I feel like they were at one point in like the 50 range, and ultra rare money. Ooh. All right, worth real money too. Six packs. A lot of them are just base, but let's see what we can get. Prism Monopoly. I love this game. And these are unique. Kind of out there, odd. But cool. And fun. And at least they were popular. Here we go. Let's see. There's everything you can find. A lot of money parallels. All about the money. What about the game? 
base. Oh, and they're rated too. 95, very impressive. 97 skills. James Harden does not agree. And I'll see his skills. Oh my goodness. It's settled. It is settled. There we are. Next pack. So Panini says run and dunk. Yes. Ooh. Megastar. I have the 101 of this card. Trey. Mr. Pack. Miss Pack. Okay. Well, there's no inserts for the most part. There are, but only rare ones. So it's parallel or bust. The hope is we get one. Rookie. I love Apollo or something like that. Sohan. And there we go. Next pack. These can be quiet, but there's high potential when you get it. Okay. A lot of fun. Last pack mojo. Please. Maxi. Okay. So far, these have been the worst. Oh man, all base box. That's crazy. Oh, Panini. Panini, Panini, Panini. All right, one parallel, please. You can get cool stuff, but we did a chase video featuring this product and it was not easy. But I'm very curious how these cards age. I'm fairly confident, like 10 years from now, the Hobby will be like, huh? Who maybe don't remember this one or wasn't around? They'd be like, wait, Prism Monopoly? And who knows what Panini and the Prism brand looks like at that time? Because right now, not looking too hot for them. Here we go. One parallel, please. Pretty please. Oh my goodness, a lot of base. The parallels are fun, but you gotta get them first. John Wall, one of my faves. Jabari. And Rookie, there you go. Oh, Prism Monopoly. Why are they all base boxes? Keegan? Getting rookies, but... Durin? Mark Williams? Nice one. But no parallels. If we get zero, that's crushing. Oh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Three left. Come on, Prism Monopoly. All versions of Prism are brutal. Well, if anyone wants the base set, I have it. Second to last. Come on. Really? Wow. Whoever made these should be ashamed. Last pack. Sell any product. With zero contents, it's despicable. Well, thanks, Nini. At least I know they were authentic. All right. How about this one? Where is it? Somewhere on here it says autographs. This is from Space Jam. There you go. One in 1,200. Hmm. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Why not me? And he's open here. So this release was very weird. It was for the movie. But the drop and release dates were so strange. Like I think Hobby was so far after the movie dropping. And yeah. I did review these once upon a time. I think I pulled the LeBron too. I could number LeBron. An autograph would be crazy. So here we go. Which Space Jam is the best? The OG with Mike or LeBron's? Here we are. Let's see. Can I pull an autograph? Because they are in here. And I don't know what else. Maybe Don Cheadle, I think, is in here. I think it's in Dea 
played one of the characters, but I don't know if she's in here. And then, who else was in this movie? Others. Here's the cards. We have Speedy Gonzalez. Look at this stuff. This movie was... What, Dame? AD was in here too. Oh, there's AD. This base? I'll put it here. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just thought about it now. As I was going to place it somewhere. So, I got six packs. And every 1,200 get an autograph. And then from there, how rare is LeBron? Where's the king? Oh, okay. There he is. LeBron James. There we go. I can't believe Draymond wasn't in this movie. Ready to jam. LeBron. Is that a parallel? I think it is. Um, I think it is. It's been a long time. There we go. But one thing I will recognize, that LeBron auto. Yes, I will. These packs, upper deck, are tough to open. So this drop was weird. And the you know entertainment type sets, there's Don Cheadle, are often, you know, not it in my opinion. I've tried a lot, but the hits are lackluster. A lot of manufactured stuff, low hit rate. It's fun, but it's not fun. I tried a bunch. And yeah. Can we get something in here or is this it? He's creepy. Elmer Fudd? Alright, well. Wasn't this fun? Glad I included it. Actually, for the theme of this video, I'm very glad I included it. This is a hit. This is a hit. Hold on. It feels like a film cell. Let's take a look. Um. Hmm. Oh. 1 in 36? Or, yeah, pretty much. I guess one every few several boxes. We'll rip this one first. And let's see. Maybe I wasn't supposed to, because... Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. I feel a big divot, in a way. Or, like, an indent in that one. We got a hit, guys. Okay, here we go. Can we get the king? Imagine it's an autograph. And I felt wrong. It's time, guys. Here we go. Show me the king. Show me Bugs Bunny. Okay. It is Granny. We got it. Oh my gosh. Hidden and packed all this time. From a retail pack. Granny film cell. Wow. Crazy hit. Kaboom. <laughs> a manufactured film cell. No hits should be manufactured like that. So... Yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? But Granny, it's a hit. Let's say what tier it is. With all due respect, does it matter? Let's leave it. We got a hit. We're on the board. Plus a numbered curry. Paid. All right. It's time for the big one. This one is it. Where do I put these? Uh, there we go. Carve out some space for them. Too many Chrome cards on paper cards. On top of Chrome cards. This is the Championship Collection. That's it. Championship Collection. Very interesting. And there's the bottom MJ holding. So, on the box, Chet from the Chet set. If that's the advertised card, we're in trouble. Twice they advertise it. These are not great hobby packs. And that's the chase card. Hmm. I think my PSA 10 version of that goes for like 
like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. I think it's at 10. PSA version. And two hobby packs, five other packs, 15 cards, one hit. Might be protected, might not be. So in the past, they dropped many sets like this. And I've tried them. Most were awful. Some had random chase cards that were magged, like Ben Simmons, when he was that guy. But some years, I guess they didn't know what they had and put 1314 Prism Hobby. Huge, huge pack. 1819 Optic, might have been retail. And either 10, 11, or 11, 12, or 12, 13, something like that. Some older packs from there, Contenders, stuff like that. That was 12, 13 Contenders. And those are pretty big packs. I'm banking on some some trash here. But wanted to open it, and I found just one at Walmart. Let's see. Here we go. And if you ever tried this or any others that you've seen here today, or others that you've seen at Walmart, they're cool. Or that's kind of unique. What'd you pull? Comment down below your experiences. What's that? Here are the cards. Do I want to know? Okay. Hobby. Bowman Yu. Chet is in here. And others. Um, Don Russ. At least it's modern and licensed. Let me guess. Finest? Yeah, this stuff. We tried it. And um, they're all in suits. Mostly retired players. What is this? Pro picks, rookies, and future stars. I've never seen this in my life. Who makes this? Pro picks. Okay. Of course. Obviously. And four pro picks. Yikes. Let's see. I don't think I'd pay... If there was a penny on the ground and these were a cent, I wouldn't pick it up. Let's see this box here. Now, maybe I'm pleasantly surprised, but... I doubt it. I've never heard of that before. There's a lot of uh, not so great off-brand non-licensed sets that I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, here's the cards. I mean, there's Chet, but Chet has his own set. Rhyming intentionally. What is this? Hold on. Whoa, we have a... Whoa! R. P. A. Adam Haluska. I mean... I'll take that. Better than I thought I'd get to $7.99. This is the autograph, plus jersey? I consider myself lucky, because usually it's just jersey. Here you go. Alright, plus chat. RJ Hampton... And by the way, uh, oh, Lamelo, what the heck? Lamelo Rookie. Whoever makes these, if you need more cards like this, I know a guy. And, and his freedom. KD. Poku. Azabuki. And base cards. I'll take the Mellow. Never leave the last box, guys. Someone made a mistake. Bang, bang, bang. Here are the packs. All right, pro picks. I mean, what is this even? Um, okay. I have no clue. That's the fun in it. Okay. Matthew Hurt, of course. Uh, Josh Christopher. We have Zaire. I've never seen a single card from the set before in my life. Terry and Jabari. Seriously. I'm not even trying to be mean. I've just never seen this stuff before. Okay. Well, Mellow was nice, though. Probably a buck or two right there. This was 20 bucks. Yeah, in the past, these were high potential. Oh, same guys. Oh, no. All right. A little variation. Two more. Now let's see. 
Oh, green Max Christie. Yeah. Wow, green. Okay. Nice, I guess. And, uh... Okay. Fun. Next one. If you want some random cheat packs, look no further. Are there like five guys in this set? All right, here we go. This is a uh, Topps Finest 2021. One of the first Topps basketball sets when they returned to you know basketball and stuff like that. When you heard the news, it's mostly retired players in suits, which is not ideal. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like these. It was cool to see Topps back, but yeah, these were not received well. <laughs> I mean. Where do you get these pictures from? Yeah, is it numbered? No. I don't know. Donruss pack. What is this from? This is um Yellow Lasers. I don't know. Retail though. And that's hobby. Those two are the hobbies. That's Ben Simmons for the Sixers. Sheesh. Rookie. Cha-ching! Opera and Shengun. Well, Shen Go action and the fun guy. Complete players. Finally, our last pack. Bowman Yu. Here we go. I like this stuff. This year wasn't licensed though. Let's see. Once again, you guys like these videos? You want to see more? Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. We'll do some more. And also comment what you want to see. And when you like, sub, comment, you are entered into the weekly giveaways. And there we go. What are your thoughts on all the products and any others and retail in general? Retail often has a lot of uh, just kind of weird stuff like this. And there you go. So our highlights. We have a hit, actually. Shengun. We have Lamello Rookies. And Boom. RPA plus we're not done guys. We're not done. This recap is just getting started. How about a little granny film cell? How about, you know, ready to jam LeBron? How about the worst Monopoly boxes ever? Numbered Curry, anyone? So in conclusion, don't sleep. Chet, Chet, J-Dub, Ty Ty. There we go. So, I mean, Chet's, Curry, Granny, you name it, RPAs. RJA, really, but plus Lomelo and Shengun. A lot of fun. Value wise and quality wise, these will lack, but quantity and randomness, weird, fun, deliver. So, what are your thoughts? And should we do some more? Comment down below what you want to see us uh, review. If there's anything I didn't review here, but that has dropped. Comment down below, let me know. I'll try to find it. So that does it, guys. Try some new stuff. We'll have more coming soon. So stay tuned. But does it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.